In my DIY hair care video that I did last, I showed how to make a herbal rinse which was really good with dealing with the waxiness that I've been getting at the roots of my hair which I always get postpartum. But today what I wanted to do is do a balm which would be very good for dealing with dryness that I get at the ends of my hair and especially in winter when I want a little bit more protection so that my hair can grow longer, stronger and I don't have to cut it as often. So I'm going to be using evening primrose oil, castor oil, lanolin, beeswax and then a selection of essential oils. If you don't know where to find lanolin, you can normally find that in the childcare section in most shops. Castor oil and evening primrose oil you can find online along with the beeswax. As for the two essential oils that I picked, I haven't picked these for any properties which are specific to hair care. I just like the smell and it's really nice having something that smells nice in your hair. And since I want to be wearing this balm daily, I really want my hair to smell nice. Like most of the things that I make for myself, there is a rough guideline, but I am going to be eyeballing most of this. The amounts that I'm aiming for are 10% beeswax, 20% lanolin, 20% castor oil, and the rest is going to be evening primrose oil. As for those essential oils, those are gonna be added last. You do not want to add these first because it is going to completely change the way they smell and effectively burn them. So you'll be adding those last and then mixing them and immediately removing them from the heat. So now that all the oils and creams are mixed together and melted along with the beeswax, I'm going to quickly add two drops of each of the essential oils, mix it very, very quickly, and then immediately remove it from the heat before pouring it in the jar and waiting for it to cool down. One thing you are going to have to keep an eye on is the beeswax. Sometimes you can think it's melted, but what you're going to see once everything starts to cool down is these little blobs appear that are going to look a little bit like tadpole eggs. And this is the beeswax where it hasn't melted properly and it's going to drive you nuts because it's going to look awful, it means it's not mixed properly, and you're pretty much gonna to have to start again. So when you're melting this, if you're not sure that the beeswax is completely melted, wait until everything is completely clear, then pour it out to cool down. Once that's cooled down, I'll go ahead and apply that to the ends of my hair. If you wanted to, you could apply it down to the roots and have it as a bit of a hair treatment, leaving it for a few hours before washing it out. But as it is, the roots of my hair do not need any help in the moisture department, so I'm going to keep that just on the ends of my hair. While it is great for dealing with any frizz or dryness that I have during the day, the main time that I use it is lasting at night. I'll run this through the ends of my hair and then tie the hair back into a protective style. But my favorite way to use it and the way that definitely prevents my hair from getting utterly shredded when I go outside is in the winter just right before I go out the door running that through the ends of my hair to make sure that it's kept in a good state and doesn't get completely destroyed in the wind. I made a hair balm like this a few years ago and it made a massive difference to my hair so I'm really looking forward to having it back in my life and just having stronger healthier hair. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to and that's it, you're done.